So Mick, you were an Englishman abroad and obviously you thought to put an American band together. But I'm pretty interested in how you actually met up with Lou. Uh, we met in about, I guess, uh, it was about a year before the band came out. Well, we, we had actually met a long time before, the first meeting that came out. And that was uh, when I was with a band called Spooky Tooth and we were touring upstate in New York in a place called Rochester, which is Lou's hometown. And uh, we had a mutual friend who was, I believe, your manager at that yeah. time, wasn't he? Or per, sort of personal yeah, manager, yeah. yeah. Was labeled up. And he was the, wrote, yes, he was the, um, the local guy with the uh, record label that we were. And um, we kind of met there briefly, and mm -hmm. then we, our paths sort of crossed a few times. And uh, I had a couple of albums that Lou had done with a band called Black Sheep, which he was the leader of. And, um, we met, uh, let's say, a couple more times, and then as it got to the point of finalising the, the group, or not finalising, but actually getting a line-up, uh, I pulled the record out, and bingo. <laughs> so you had an audition for the early foreigner, or the germs of foreigner then, Lou. What was it like? Because auditions uh, must be nerve-wracking things to go into. I was nervous, yeah, you know. Um, I remember um, asking, when, when, when I heard the demo tapes uh, in the studio, I asked Mick to, to play me the, uh, the vocal on there so I could hear what the melody was, but he, I don't, I don't know why, he wouldn't play it for me, he just, he, he sang it in my ear. And, and he shot it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I went out and, uh, and tried it right on. And you must have liked the result then. Yeah, it was, okay. it, was, it was pretty difficult actually, because we had, all we had was a, we'd done like a, a vague sort of demo tape, and Lou kind of came in and like... Are you reading the words? Yeah. yeah. That's it, felt great immediately. Yeah. I think a lot of people in Europe will be quite surprised to find that really Foreigner is basically a British band. I mean, Lou is the only American member. Um, it's quite interesting how the three of you came together, the three English guys, isn't it? Because once again, um, Dennis Elliott and Rick Wills sort of came to Foreigner via various routes. Yeah. Um, their path into it was quite unusual in a way as well, wasn't it? Yeah, Dennis was uh, living over there actually at the time. At the beginning, you know, the the, the band was um, half and half, three um, three Americans and three Englishmen. It was never really conceived in any particular way to, to be that way, but that's just the way it turned out. You know, and, uh, I'd almost tend to regard us as a, an international band. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, Dennis was there, and uh, Rick joined the band later, uh, just before the head came down. Uh, about 1970. Mm -hmm. And um, he decided to then move over to the States. So he didn't actually live in America. It was tough to me. Yeah, it got a little <laughs> tough. I'm sure it was. <laughs> in fact, Ian Hunter had something to do with you getting together as well, didn't he? Yeah, I, I had uh, I met Dennis when I'd been up to... Uh, I'd, I had... Uh, been called by Ian Hunter and he wanted me to go out and play on some demos or something. And uh, at that time Dennis was playing with him. So Dennis, uh, Dennis has been around too. Is it a question <laughs> of a lot of the British guys who go over to the States to form bands or do whatever they do, stick together because it's interesting that you should form a band that is so British in its design? I don't, I know that there are people that do that. I don't think that applies to us. I don't, uh, we all I, I never sort of found uh, myself hanging out particularly with... I don't know that many English musicians in New York, actually, tell you the truth. But uh, Dennis uh, keeps himself to himself. You know. But we just happened to meet in that way. Um, no, I, I, I don't know whether... Uh, it wasn't really anything to do with that. 